For the latest in sports from Georgia College and beyond, we now go to our sports correspondent, Colin Shirley. Thanks, Megan. Hi, guys. Hope you're doing well today. I'm here today joined with Nicole Houston. She's going to help me with the sports. How are you doing today, Nikki? I'm doing great. Thank you. Um, and so first off, there's a lot to go through. So I want to make sure that we touch everything and you learn as much as you can about everything that's happened from professional to local stuff. So first, I'd like to start off with golf. Now, do you watch golf? Not a big golf person, no. I'm really not either. It's just a little bit slow for me. But um, actually, the Ryder Cup finished up this past week. Now, do you know what that is by any chance? No. No worries. <laughs> Happy to explain. I'm learning too. And so the, the Ryder Cup actually functions similarly to the World Cup in okay. soccer. I know and, what that is. And so instead of the golfers playing against each other individually, we work together as a team. So the Americans actually played against the Europeans in this tournament. And so the way it worked is that we were ahead for pretty much the entire time except for the last day. On the last day, we played 11 games. And in those 11 games, we lost eight. Eight games. And you know, that's always the worst. When you're that ahead the for the worst. entire time, yeah. and then it just slips right through your fingers. And so Rory McIlroy from Europe was very happy with that. And while, you know, Tiger Woods and we had um, Phil Mickelson and then also Bubba Watson were not pleased at all with that. And so unfortunately, we weren't able to keep that victory going. But it was a great tournament. There were a lot of good putts, a lot of good hits. And so we'll have to wait till next year when it comes around. And so in other sports news, the Braves. The Braves are doing very well. We're very excited to play in the wild card playoff game, which is Friday. It's Friday, how uh, exciting. Unfortunately though, as exciting as that is, we had a very emotional weekend. <sighs> Chipper Jones said goodbye to Turner Field. Did you happen to catch those games, Nikki? I did, they I did. They were sad. And it was really nostalgic. It really was. You know, for 20 years he played with us here in Atlanta. And he, I mean, it's not like he's gone, but he's not gonna be back to, you know, hit those homers and have us cheer him on that, like for all those times. And you know, it's just really, it's and really touching. And you know touching. what the sad thing is, you know, Chipper Chipper, the second he steps on that field, mm. everyone loves him. He's our idol, you know, he's great. Mm. Yeah. But back at home, I don't know if you know, of course I know all the entertainment, all right. the she secret does. gossip. He's got an interesting home he does. life. He's he gone, does. I think he's gone through about four mm -hmm. divorces. I could be making that up, maybe it's three. Um, but it's sad. No, but he's it really a great is. guy and um, sad to see him go. And, but you know, to his credit, when he when he comes on the field, he just he puts that on the wayside. He really mm -hmm. focuses. And so we'll have to see next season who we can replace him with. But if I can say, guys, and to you as well, Nikki, this Friday is a really important game. If we win, we work our way toward the World Series. If we don't win, we're out. We're playing against the St. Louis Cardinals, who are the incumbent victors of the World Series last year. So if we win this game, we have a shot to take Chipper all the way to the top. If not, we're out. He's done, and he's in retirement. So if you get the chance, I know Fridays can be busy for all of us, but if you get a chance, turn it on, look at it, and just see the score, and do a little tomahawk chop just to keep it going. I'm gonna be chopping. All chopping night. all day. Nikki's gonna be going pretty <laughs> ham for our bravos. And so, in other news, there's a lot of football going on in the area. So, mm -hmm. I'll break it down into three separate sections. We've got the Falcons, we've got the Baldwin County Braves, and then we've got UGA Dogs. So go, start, dogs. go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs indeed. And also go Bobcats because they're also important. They are. This but so the Falcons played against the Carolina Panthers this past weekend and we won 30 to 28, which is fantastic. And also Matt Ryan, our quarterback, was just rated the NFC Offensive Player of the Month, which is fantastic for the fact that last season he wasn't doing too hot. He was throwing a lot of interceptions, making a lot of mistakes, but he's been able to really up his game and keep the ball going exactly where he wants to put it. Now, I'm not really an avid football player either. I, excuse me, not a football player if you can't tell, but yeah, not a football watcher. A I appreciate that. <laughs> but not really an avid football watcher, but I've heard a lot that he's doing really well mm -hmm. and he's continuing to keep it going. So that's fantastic. Happy to hear that from Matt Ryan. And so in uh, local news, we've got the Baldwin County Braves who won up against, um, I think it was Perry High School, and we were able to clinch that victory, which is really important as we continue the season going. And so in other, in other news, guys, that's pretty much everything in sports for right now, but I'll make sure to keep you posted next week when we get into everything else that's happened in the world of crazy sports.